it's no secret. <laughs> Being a parent to a two-foot-high trouble merchant is no easy job. Because while young children aren't capable of much, they are certainly capable of chaos. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like to be a parent you have to be an octopus. You're juggling working, housework, caring for your little one, all at the same time, and it feels a little bit impossible. So isn't it wonderful that some very clever people have come up with some very helpful shortcuts that means while you're busy over here, your little one is kept safe and entertained. But as that old African proverb goes, it takes a village to raise a child. However, as globalised, time-poor 21st century mothers and fathers, many of us are parenting without our families or friends nearby or their collective wisdom to lean on. But it is this exact situation that has given birth to an information age phenomena known as the parent hack. Ingeniously simple shortcuts or bits of wisdom that makes your life as a parent a little easier. Guiding me through the world of parenting hacks today is Sarah Kelly, full-time mum as well as publisher, blogger and editor of kidmagazine.com.au. So it's a digital lifestyle mag for mums. So it's all about um, tips, resources and inspiration for mums to help them nail their mum life. To kick things off, kids and cars can be a diabolical combination for parents. Daddy is a poo, 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 poo. My daddy is a poo. You've got ready-made entertainment just sitting there on the windows in the back of the seat. Yeah, so um, on the back of the seat there, if you take um, a shoe bag that you'd normally put your shoes in on the back of your door, a few toys in there, they can just grab what they want. And the same on the window, they just uh, shower suction caddies. Yes, right. Um, so clever. OK, love the car hacks. But now for the home. It is estimated that 320,000 children under the age of 15 are treated in hospital as a result of accidents, many of which are sustained within the home. But the majority of accidents are preventable. So to try out some great safety ideas, we're dropping in on Chantal and 18-month-old Legatha, who is an expert at finding danger in all the safest places. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> It's like you do your own stunts, don't you? A simple pool noodle, slice it down one side, and all you do is just slide that one on there, slide one on the other side, and then if she hits her head there, it's soft and it's not going to hurt her like the corner of the table would. Transitioning your little demons from a cot to their bed can take some getting used to, and it's generally thought that falls from a height greater than three feet can result in injury. So Sarah has a great solution. When they're sleeping, you want to know that they are safe from falls. Sarah, again. Can you help me? We're going to pop it under the fitted sheet, pull it down, and so when they roll in bed at night, they're just going to hit the pool noodle ah. rather than falling off the edge of the bed. Oh, what a brilliant idea. Look at that. That is great, actually. Do you know what? A pool noodle could raise your child. A you pool noodle could change your life. <laughs> Hack number three is a great way to recycle an old shampoo bottle and save your kids tripping over a stepping stool and your back from having to hold your kids up to wash their hands. Go wash your hands. And it's just an old shampoo or soap bottle. Mm -hmm. You just pop a hole in the top there and then the water comes out ah. at an angle. That is back saving right there. Mm -hmm. What a great solution. And yep. sustainability. Go do your hands. And put away. Put away. OK, bye-bye. <laughs> and finally, what do you think of this? You're putting your bubba to sleep. I haven't got enough hands. What I have is a glove with some rice in it. Likes a little pat to, to settle. Shh, back away. <laughs> Baby sleeps. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Good try. OK. What do you think of this? Maybe some hacks are best left on the internet. <laughs>